So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. Once on this, we're going to expand the HD classes root. Then we're going to click on any folder and then click on D on our keyboard. Then we want to look for directory. So we're going to scroll down until we find directory. You want to expand directory and then click on shell. Now once you're on this, you want to double click on the default file and then you want to change the value data to none and then click on OK. Now once we've done that, we're just going to close up the shell and directory folder and then we're going to make sure that directory has been highlighted again and then you want to click on L on your keyboard and we're going to scroll down until we find the ink file, this one right here. Now once you're on the ink file folder, you want to right click on any blank space, click on new and then click on string value. Then we're going to type in IS shortcut and then click on enter. It doesn't work for me because I already have IS shortcut right here, but you might not have it. So type in IS shortcut and then it should appear right here for you. Now once you do that, we're going to close out the ink file and then we're going to click on D on our keyboard, which will bring us back up to the D section. Then we're going to scroll down till we find directory again. Here it is. Then you want to expand directory and then expand shell. And now you want to delete the CMD and find folder. Just delete these both. I'm not going to do it because it's working for me, but you delete them both. Don't worry, we're going to get it back. So just delete the CMD and the find folder. Now for the last step, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as an administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, you want to copy and paste these four commands into CMD. These commands will also be down below in the description. But I'm just going to type out the first one. So the first one is SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Now once the scan has been done, you want to copy and paste these next three commands into CMD and then click on enter. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.